Hello, my name is Dr. Manor Haas. I'm a certified endodontist from Toronto, Canada. Thank you for joining me in this educational series. I would like to take this opportunity to share with you my personal step-by-step -step approach to using the Guttacore Obturation System. Although I will go into great detail, when the following simple and common sense steps are followed, Guttacore Obturation is actually very simple and quick to perform. Towards the end of the series, I would encourage you to see the segment which recaps the obturation with Guttacore in the demonstrated clinical cases. So let's get started. At this point, you've instrumented, medicated, irrigated, and dried the canals, which means you're now ready to obturate. When it comes to selecting an obturation system that is ideal and suitable for you and easy to perform, it comes down to the following. If you can place a paper point in a canal without touching the pulp chamber walls, as you do when drying canals, the gutta core is the warm obturation system for you. First, you need to select the gutta core that corresponds with the master motorized NITI file you used. With Tulsa, this is very simple. Just match the color of your master file with the color of the gutta core. Next, you need to select the corresponding size verifier NITI hand file. The size verifier is provided with your gutta core obturator packs. This too is color coordinated by Tulsa. So if your master file was red, you use the red size verifier. I would like to stress that although its use is very simple, the size verifier is absolutely crucial in making the obturation successful and predictable. The main purpose of the size verifier is to ensure that your gutta core will have a clear path in the canal all the way to the working length. The size verifier also serves as a radiographic confirmation of your working and obturation length. Using the size verifier would be the same as if you were to fit and radiograph a master gutta percha cone. But once again, I can't emphasize the importance of the size verifier prior to obturation. The size verifier should encounter little or no resistance when at working length. This helps ensure the canal is ready for obturation with the corresponding gutta core. Next, turn the size verifier in a clockwise direction and pull it out. Keep doing this until the tip of the size verifier is free of any debris. This is called apical clearing. This apical dentin debris often creates an apical plug which may prevent the gutta percha from obturating to length. In recap, you must use the corresponding size verifier prior to obturating with gutta core. This step is extremely easy and simple and will only help make the obturation go smoother. I hope you found this useful. Good luck and thank you for your time.